All right, guys. So basically, after I finish painting the model in the base color, I uh, start to weather it. My first point of call. Normally, I give it a, a bit of a wash. I just use this basic uh, artist oil paint, thin it out with some uh, mineral terps, and uh, away I go. I've got a few of these little Tamiya weathering sticks. They're very handy. Uh, just very convenient but uh, you know you don't just use that alone you mix it with some other things to create a good effect like I have here I've also got these little Tamiya weathering master kits they're great they've got like soot snow and rust and they're great for uh, simulating obviously soot and rust but uh, especially around the exhaust and stuff like that I use it quite a bit um, I know. This is this color I love. This is a great paint. Burnt umber. I mix it with uh, all my uh, pigments and stuff like that to give me the mud effect and some rust colors. So I always use this color. Oh, I need to get some more. And these are the two pigments I used a lot on this particular build. The RC tank behind me. Natural umber and burnt umber. And I get these two. Add a little bit of this for colour and I get this craft glue which is a tacky version kind of when it dries it dries a little bit uh, flexible so even if you hit hit this stuff here behind me it doesn't crack off it might bend a little bit but it stays on the tank it's really really sticky really I love it works well so they're, they're the basic stuff I use I'll show you my tank quickly before this battery runs out So there's the, uh, that's the effect that uh, that combination of pigments and whatnot have. Looks pretty realistic. It turned out pretty well. I'm quite happy with that actually. I like it because it's got a very, very um, color varies, not just one matte color or flat color. Anyway, I think it looks pretty cool. It's an RC tank. It's, it's meant to be beat up a bit, so... Yeah. Cut the fenders off, obviously. I should use a Dremel tool all the way down here. Grinded it all off. Grinded it all off. Sanded it. And I based this lower hole off, uh, I think, I think very, very, very early Tiger 1 holes. Pretty much had nothing on the sides. I didn't even have the... Uh, what's it? The side skirt mounts, so... Yeah. I think it looks cool. I'm happy with it. What do you guys think? Let me know. Anything I can improve, just uh, give me a chance. Give me a give me a hoi. I'm always up for uh, new new and ways to do things. But uh, yeah, thanks guys and.